We're getting ready to go snowmobiling. It's gonna be a big day. We are burning daylight. I don't know why we're not riding yet. Turn me <laughs> up! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Man, about time you guys show up. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, sunshine. How are you doing this morning? Oh, thank you. Well, a little present for Caleb. Just bring him back to his roots, you know? I don't think Matt even knows how to put bumpers on, so I'm a little concerned about the sled situation today. <laughs> bumpers? What? We're talking about bumpers. <laughs> you want to see some bumpers? Oh no, I opened a can. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I may have done a bow tie on a rock, and then I was kind of just mad, so I just threw a bunch of bolts in it. <laughs> them. I have oh. more bumpers at home, so it doesn't really have to make it very long. But yeah, this is this is what <laughs> anger fabrication looks like. You got the tipped up tail. Oh yeah. It's just a little, a little more aggressive. A little, actually, a little less drag. What's that from? What? That little, that, uh, you're missing some paint there. Is that what happens as soon as you touch a backwards bumper? Hey Dawson, you got your scratches down. Yeah, I'm allowed to now. I do the same thing. <laughs> Wow, this is a lot. Of, this is the most Polaris I've ever rode with. <laughs> I wish my Skidoo was running. I would have brought it just to be different. Oh no, you would hate your life on that thing. Today. <laughs> oh, you wish. <laughs> Nothing to see over there. <laughs> Nothing to see. Today should be a pretty wild day. We're going up to ride some technical terrain. We got Caleb out again. Dawson, Chase. Woo! <laughs> We're excited to go up, and we got Keith Curtis and his crew. So. Should be some pretty gnarly riders. I'm a little scared not having a turbo. Right <laughs> <laughs> the only non-players and and non-turbo. Non-turbo. Good luck. I know. What am I doing? Yeah. Transceiver check. Good man. Sometimes when you're riding with a bunch of professionals, it's the easiest to forget to do the essentials. Want me to check you? Yeah, somebody should check me. So if you guys haven't realized, uh, we're out here today with probably two of the best snowmobile athletes in the world. We got Keith Curtis, who is the world champion hill climb racer. Then we've got Caleb, who's just the most aggressive technical rider there is. So, <laughs> pretty rad to be out here with these guys today. Crazy group we're with. Just all super aggressive riders and uh, fuck I got kill switch. Today will end up being a little bit of a different pace than, than usual because usually we're one of the most aggressive riders in the group. <laughs> Whereas today we're we're a lot farther down on the list, so where we're usually break a trail. Don't know if that'll be the case today. We're not exactly sure if we're gonna be able to get into this zone. We'll find out once we get right here. Should be pretty open. Doesn't look as bad as I expected. How's it look up there past that? Yeah, I think we got it past here. I got a little scared. First and second guys through here don't seem to be too terrible. <laughs> but by the time we got eight slits through here, this is, uh, I don't know if there's gonna be any snow left. 
another 10 feet. Making <laughs> ground. Oh man, that could have been a line. <laughs> More snow. <laughs> Look at the holes everywhere. I think Caleb trying to build himself a launch pad to go up this. It's kind of straight up. I need my scoop shovel to build a trail. <laughs> I'm standing in water. I was, that's what I was going to tell you. You going to help me if I get stuck? Anything for you. Okay, I'll get a try. That's river. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Yeah, sure. Why why not? There was all there was all of a foot of snow right there. <laughs> that, that's I, I don't know if that's the road. the high mark but it wasn't pretty what's the elevation we're at 4200 feet <laughs> so we're 4200 feet we're pretty low we're with a really aggressive group of riders talented riders and we're at this creek bottom where we can go up potentially or we could just go up the road another thousand feet get more snow and now we're just like well should we go up further or should we go back so i'm just kind of letting this play out for a minute yeah one more runner up here what are you thinking yeah, I'm just here here to watch. Me too. <laughs> I've already committed to not trying. <laughs> he seems unsure too. He's contemplating his decisions. <laughs> oh, you gotta look at it. <laughs> if you gotta look at it by, by walking up there, then you know it's probably... It's not good. It's not good. I tried climbing it with more snow than this and it was terrible. <laughs> he, he's making you a trail. You gotta jump it going downhill. Oh, rock. Done, Matt? You don't wanna keep pushing up? Hey, I was all, all game. I think it, you were in it was somebody position. else that was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the record, you'd have to pay me a lot of money to go back up that, so. I'm fine with going somewhere new. That way? Yeah, like, where do you go? Where you come not, in, not, up that drainage into the open. You wanna try going up that one? Well, that might be pretty shit too, but it's, probably it's, worse. it's a really fun one. Yeah, I just don't think it's late enough in the season. No, but there's another one beside. You don't go up the drainage. You go up the drainage. Another one will be up the drainage. Ray Rock and Roll! All right, this should get good. <laughs> speed. Being last, I'm gonna have a gnarly line here.
should see me cut Caleb off. <laughs> Oh, the, the NA might struggle up that yeah, one. That's a good ball. <laughs> 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 Dawson and Matt coming up. The 165 shine in this type of riding. No! Shit! Keep ripping. Oh, I don't know if there's a line through that. Matt's right there, and now Keith is right behind him. <laughs> Are you just gonna go for it? No. Well, maybe that is a I, That might be your best call. Oh. <laughs> Caleb, huh? How'd you like that little line down there I pulled on you? Oh, that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> I ran in, I think my ski went under your track. <laughs> Probably. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but yeah. It was, I just full on right in the, I'm yeah. like, I'm not lighting off. That was on me, cause I saw you and I didn't want to lose momentum. Well, I saw you too and I didn't want to lose momentum, so. It wasn't like I didn't know you were there. I was just, I wanted to maintain my momentum so I could be the first one to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a break after that. <laughs> I did an extra loop at the bottom that tired me out. <laughs> we'll go down here once more and have another run up. Pretty dumb on my part there. Things got a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> that rock. Two, two guys in like 20 minutes you ran into. <laughs> you got a little shut down. Right? The rock, the, it's just bald rock there. It just fucked me like I did not expect. <laughs> and to be fair, I ran into you the first time, so. All right, R Robin's racing. Holy moly. <laughs> We're going up and over the rock garden here. <laughs> I should go high or low. Probably low. How's the chaos? <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Dawson knows where he's going. He's taking the low line. Give me a break for a second. I'll stick on the single track. Holy shit, this last part's steep. Okay, let's just try and get up. So we're the first ones. That's dumb. I blame Caleb. Oh, I'm exhausted. Getting stuck twice in a row really poops me. I can't believe I almost ran into you again. <laughs> if I didn't let off. Oh, it would have been a bad collision if you didn't yeah. let off. Thank you. <laughs> that was on me I and you see. Right after. <laughs> oh. But well, you had the downhill and I was flat, so I was like, he needs more momentum than I do. Well, sorry it caused you a stuck. I would have beat you. I, I should have radioed and come and help <laughs> I you. I said to myself on the GoPro, I'm like, okay, we're almost there. Just push that last bit. So then we could wait at the top for everybody. <laughs> and, <we> then, <laughs> and then I screwed you over. We would have just plowed you over with these bumpers. Backwoods would have terminated me. Cover from that. I no thought idea. you were older pin. <laughs> I thought you were mouse. Trapped. That's what I was thinking. My God. Can't even tell. I wrecked it. Can you? <laughs> no. What happened? Find uh, some rocks or trees. The tree won. <laughs> I did not win. That had to be. I had good mo going up around the corner, and I just shot into the tree. Look at that. The kitty made it. second chase rolls up all these guys are gone just ready to go even I need uh, need a minute where are we going now no such thing as a break here <laughs> Had it. I think we can keep going. That was 
okay? That was very fun. Did you take a high, the high line? No, there's, they were all f***ed up in it. Did it, who took it? I know he. I kind of want to try that high line. Sick! <laughs> an awesome one. <laughs> I just following you up. I just saw the trees going. Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect there to be that many trees, and I was like, "Well, he's behind me. I'm not gonna take." Oh, you, no! Down. You're I get your skis up. Just <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was messed up down there. <laughs> There's some big old trenches and logs. That's. <laughs> We're all up here having lunch and uh, Chase just wanted to see what the top looked like so he came up. <laughs> I was on the wrong lake. <laughs> He'll bomb right up that. It's all rock so he's going to go for it. It's his style. <laughs> All right, who's next? I'm gonna set that one out. <laughs> hey, Toby! I feel like that's gonna get pretty rocky through there. I would agree. <laughs> we'll have a look at this here. snow for it but I feel like the sides are rocky but the gut is packed in yeah that's true okay. <laughs> that'd be a good shoot <laughs> I don't even know if there's an exit at the top it doesn't look like it it looks like you could flip around and come back down I guess Locked up it. <laughs> he still wants to go up from there. Okay, up there. Okay, sure. That didn't sound reassuring. Are you going for it? No. No? It looks, it looks scarier from here. It bends out if you hang right where I did that hop over on the first line. Are you going up? <laughs> I probably shouldn't. One more. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
bounced off my track and hit a rock. I should have been coming down my line instead of going, instead of going up. Bye, snowmobile. <laughs> At least there's nothing for it to hit there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? I don't want to walk that far. <laughs> Matt, are you okay? I just saw your sled ghost riding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll see me ghost riding here in a second. Did you just lose it up there, or what happened? I didn't make the top, so I stopped and then just it was sliding backwards, so I got off. <laughs> yeah, it was low consequence, so I was like, ah, we'll give it a go. Did you get all that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need a redemption run. What's over the other side of that? Well, if I go up, then I have to come down it. I don't want to come down it, so <laughs> we'll leave it alone. Up and out over here. Up across the ridge and out? Yeah. Okay, fine. up here. Cannot see, but all this is already slid, so pretty confident dropping through here. How's your predicament? Uh, you know what? Considering what could have happened and what happened, I'm pretty thankful yeah. for how it went. Well, it looked like you were just sitting right on a cliff there. It, it felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pretty good window um, of not cliff, but it was rocky. That's why I didn't make the line. Yeah. Either. And then I had, it was hitting rocks, sidling back through it. So. Go group. Up with everybody now. And, uh, See what the game plan is. Probably just some, some more tree riding. It's getting pretty nice. They're just straight below us here. I know. I, I want to go up.
blizzard everywhere he goes. What was that? I just ripped the high socks off. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, we'll go check on Dawson here. Ripped one of his high faxes off. We can take the rail tips off the sleds. There won't be any problem. What a stupid idea that was. <laughs> I should have tapered them off. Dawson, uh, give us an update on the situation. Do you really need an update? I mean, it's kind of <laughs> obvious what happened here. Just look on Facebook. <laughs> Ooh, no more high facts on that side. That side's good. Players thought they could take the rail tips off here and not have any issues. Honestly, I ran without rail tips for up until the Matrix chassis. I ran without rail tips. You just have to really round this. You have to, instead of yeah. a single bevel. Well, you there's need, just a sharp edge there, right? You need a double bevel and you need this rounded. Each way? Yeah, each way. So there's so it's impossible for a track clip to catch it. And it doesn't help if they have them sticking this far past the end of the rail either. Yeah, they're definitely a little long. Well, the screw's... It it really off. No, it's there. Just ripped it through. The plan is to put it back on. Let's I do it. get my tools. I think you're the most prepared man I've ever seen on the mountain. Seen a lot of broken sleds. You have to have Dawson with you just for the tools. Well, that's why, that's why we're friends with him, isn't it? <laughs> Easy! <laughs> that I, one I hurts just, a little bit. I just... <laughs> Take the bolt out. We got Whittlemaker over here. <laughs> it's when I, I was following your track and I hit a little stump and it probably pushed right there. <laughs> yeah, well, but normally, you're blaming me. It wouldn't be an no. issue. <laughs> if we we're blaming the stump. If we didn't do weird things with snowmobiles, it wouldn't be an issue, but when you like hit stumps and then the track gets pushed in at a weird angle and then it catches. Well, you've been having a pretty easy day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is a family channel. That's how you make a family. Caleb's up there waiting for us. We'll see if we can uh, pull his line. It's not gonna be pretty. saved me <laughs> I carried so much momentum through that I lost most of mine thought about turning out got to your line I'm like oh, I'm good Let's go get some sun. Back down once more. Or just some hopovers and who knows. Practice. They're all just over there, yeah. Judging by our low fuel light here, I'm sure we're all out of fuel. Would it actually bring a day to bring up fuel? Keith and his boys headed to some meadows or to drop over some meadows over here. They're gonna rip a little bit more because they do have some fuel. Uh, Caleb's out of fuel, Dawson's out of fuel and his slider issues. So they're gonna come up, we'll meet up Slowly work our way out and probably meet up with the guys in the parking lot. Way to end a day at free riding. Man, I love mountains. Head sunshine. This again, eh? 
I tried to be a good boy. I brought three gallons of spare fuel. I was watching my gauge, but then I got carried away and forgot to look at it. Low oil too? <laughs> oh, now it's just low, low everything. It's just oil and gas. Don't, don't make it sound too dramatic. <laughs> You made her. Not interesting. It, it sounds like you guys got into it, eh? Ah. Oh, that's sick. Hey. Right? We had to stop. Let's see. That's what it looks like here, and this is what it looks like from the sky. I want to go there. We are there. Like well, <laughs> yeah. quick housekeeping notes as we head down the mountain here. Just want to mention that the free rider experience ends on the 23rd. So if you want to get answered to win an all expenses paid trip to come out here and ride with me and the boys, head over to freeriderfilms.com and get entered to win. And I just want to thank everybody that's ordered so far. Uh, appreciate all the support and the stoke. It's really cool to see. And I want to apologize if your order doesn't get to you before Christmas. Chloe and I, we're doing the best we can to get everything out. I mean, it's just Chloe at this point. I'm out here trying to make cool sledding videos for you guys. Hopefully, hopefully you thought today was pretty cool because I thought it was pretty freaking cool. Uh, and, and pretty exhausting. You guys are also asking, when's Jerry gonna be back? And Jason, he's coming out right around Christmas. Both of those guys are. And then we'll be riding with them for all of January. And maybe part of March too.